Right, so uh, this embassy is more directed towards the Israeli government and demanding from Israel to try to do more to uh, somehow help Ukraine here, whether it be with humanitarian aid. Other people here have demanded military aid. We heard calls to install the Iron Dome defense system that uh, intercepts rockets in the sky to sell that to Ukraine. Now, obviously, that's not realistic in the time frame that we're talking about now with an invasion happening on the ground, but it just sort of illustrates the position of the people here where they want to see more action taken, some of it more realistic, like condemnations in the UN, humanitarian aid, some of it less realistic, like what we just talked about earlier. But uh, they want to see a sort of more proactive action from the Israeli government. And we see that there's a bit of a discrepancy between the government and the population. If you look on social media, many, many Israelis, for instance, putting their picture with the Ukrainian flag that's a trend that's going worldwide uh, whether it be demonstrations there'll be another demonstration in the evening that's going to be larger after people get off work that they're going to go to here in Jerusalem compared to the sort of government statements that have been somewhat tame this is understandable because Israel has uh, a close relationship also with Russia and has interests with Russia regarding uh, freedom of operation in Syria to strike Iranian targets inside Syria so it's a difficult position for Israel to be in and uh, therefore we see that some of the population, especially Jews born in Ukraine, who uh, made their home in Israel but still have very close ties to Ukraine, uh, being very, very vocal in their condemnation of Russia. And not just those, by the way, also Israelis who uh, don't have any uh, sort of uh, roots in Ukraine or any family members in Ukraine. Also, we've seen a lot of those people as well uh, come out in support of Ukraine and uh, not much support of uh, Russia here in Israel among the population, even among, uh, again, the sort of the flip side, uh, Israelis who were uh, Jew Jews, Russian Jews who came to Israel, who have family in Russia, have been relatively silent. We haven't seen any protest in support of Russia, for instance. So that is the situation. That's what we've seen here uh, in Jerusalem. And there will be another protest in the evening as well. Certainly an interesting development, Alec, again, in a country where you mentioned large batches of immigrants, both from Russia and Ukraine here in Israel, trying to maintain that. And mixed sometimes. Sometimes yeah. uh, people who have family both in Russia and Ukraine, who've lived in Russia and Ukraine. So uh, certainly it is a complex situation here.